How's it going? This is Todd Baginski. Do you have kids like I do who play sports, who play lots of sports? And you take them to practices and games all the time and you love it. You love every minute of it, but it's hard to keep everyone in the family on the same page when all these events come. And to invite grandma and grandpa and everybody else to come to the events and make sure it doesn't screw up your other plans too. Well, thankfully, that just got a little bit easier in Microsoft Outlook if you're working with TeamSnap. Now, I love TeamSnap and I use it on the teams that I coach and help coach. And I've also been on teams, or I should say my son has been on teams where the coach will use it as well. And so if you're using TeamSnap and Outlook, I'm going to show you how to sync up the events from TeamSnap into your Outlook calendar. So that makes it even easier to see how they play into everything else in your life. Let's get started. Okay, so step one is go to Outlook.com and log in and click on the calendar icon like I've done here to come to your calendar page. Then click on the Add Calendar link right here on the left and select Team Snap. Right now, since they just plugged this functionality in, it's actually the first thing they encourage you to do on their little hero graphic here. So I'll click on that. I'll click Sign In to Team Snap. Now, one thing that I want to show you is that I've actually already signed into Team Snap over here, and here you can see the different teams we've been a part of lately. So we'll sign in to Team Snap. It's going to ask me to authorize. I'll authorize it. Because I've already signed in in the other browser, what do I expect? It's going to just work, and it did. So. I guess the pattern is you can sign in within this dialog or you can sign in ahead of time in Team Snap as well. So then here, I haven't seen this before, so let's see how it works. So this is the K2 lacrosse team that uh, I coached the last few years. I'm just going to pull in all the events for that to the calendar. Those were in the past of spring. So let's just sync up one team here. In fact, you know what? Let's pull in Chase's baseball from last, last fall as well and hit save here. And so at this point, I'm guessing it's just calling Team Snap APIs and it's pulling all this data down and it's adding them to Outlook. Look how quick that went. I like it. Your changes have been saved. So let's go and oh, we can see here they're syncing up now. So these calendars are actually syncing into Outlook. And if we go try to click on them right now, they're not available yet. So I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as they're ready. Well, that didn't take long. In fact, it was under a minute. Now I can see both of the calendars here and I can turn them both on and off like this in my view. But let's go back to a date when I knew something was going on with these teams. So if we head back to March last year, I expect Somewhere in here, I'm going to be able to start finding the events associated with this in Team Snap. So I'm going to pause while I go find and verify they're there and come right back. All right, so there we have it. We can see here for the baseball that we had at the very end of the season. These are some of the different events on October 1, 5, 8, and 12. We even have our ice cream event for the end of season party. And you can see that that maps up right here really well to all the events right as they appear inside of Team Snap. So that's how you go about quickly marrying up the two together. And one thing to point out is any modifications you make to the events inside of Outlook here will not affect what happens in Team Snap. Just thought I'd point that out um, for all you coaches out there. You still have to go into Team Snap to modify anything associated with your team schedule. Hope that helps you all out. Good luck. Have a good season out there. See you next time.